Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's mm. your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this nice Queen Sugar, season yeah. six, episode eight, Tossing the Meadows. I can appreciate a non-triggering, lighthearted, yeah, positive, black people on their grown-ish yeah. type of episode. And we got to see Mr. Blue. Man, Nephew yeah. Blue is back. Yeah, that was that was a surprise. I didn't expect to see him this episode. Uh, me either. I was like... <laughs> Ain't nothing changed. He's still the same. <laughs> brought him in real fast, real hot. I said, okay. <laughs> so this episode was really surrounded around Dollar and the baby shower and everything that goes along with it. So we're going to go along with what had happened at first. So we have Unvi. Y'all know from last week, She's supposed to be relaxed and getting herself back together yeah. because she had a flare up. So this week she's sitting in what I call the weed room because every time we see that room is used to her, her and Nova, Nova and Charlie and they're blazing and up. And they blazing up, but she's in there, you know, having a self care mm. moment, self care day. Hollywood is all here for it. He was like, "This is what I like to see." Blah 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 blah. But she has her. He that, said, "This um, is self care I mean, on a whole nother level." level. <laughs> so she's in there. She has the face, um, the eye mask on, right? So she can only hear him chuckling. He's chuckling and he's in his phone. And she was like, wait a minute. What's so funny? Well, this is where she realizes that Hollywood has still been in touch with little Gabriel. Yeah. And little Gabriel just sending him some memes and all that good stuff. And they just having a little lighthearted kiki. Ha, ha, ha. And you could tell that. She didn't feel away, but she felt, felt away. away. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, what y'all have been saying may be coming to pass when it comes to Unvi and her not having children and not giving Hollywood children. Yeah. That may come up as a thing thing. Right. We're going to explore it a little later, y'all. So we over there at Charlie's house. Charlie decided that, hey, we're going to do this baby shower for a dollar. I'm going to do it big. I'm going to fly in some mangoes. Yeah. Because so did you get them from Jamaica? If you haven't had a Jamaican mango, you, <laughs> I'm are, telling missing, you. you are missing I'm everything in my life. So <clears throat> she was like, she really deserves this. Like this girl has been through a lot. She's kicked addiction in the butt. You know, they have a lot going on. She's married to Raw. So we're going to do the best and give her the best. Because this is her day. This is her moment. Yeah, I love it. But... Let's segue back over to the airport. We see that they don't picked up our nephew. Yeah, yes, because indeed. He's coming in for the baby shower as well. I said this is where it's gonna get a little weird because they're gonna take that baby back to that house, mm -hmm. and he gonna wanna know what the buck's what going, going on, on. because yep. they already started to pack up the house and you know they're sleeping on the floor. Not because they have to sleep on the floor, but because Dollar kind of has to sleep on the floor. For comfort, because that's the only position where she feels any type of relief. Child, I ain't never been pregnant, but I don't have back problems. And I know. <laughs> if you she, find that spot, don't question it. She, Just do it. I, I was thinking about when I was growing up, when I used to be sick. If I, go, floor, if I go and lay on the bathroom floor, I would feel much better. It'll bring it right on right. Yep. I don't know what that mm, is. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so they bring Blue back to the mm. house. And, you know, he's measuring himself on the, in the doorway and all that good stuff. You know how you used to do when you were little. Put your little marks on there because you want to see how big you don't grew. So they don't did that with him. So he starts to talk and he was like, well, maybe you could do my little sisters on that side. And y'all can start to measure up on, on side of me. So, you know, Raphael just kind of looking like, <laughs> if only you, you knew. knew. Yeah. So Blue ends up kind of like looking that way. And he was like, hold on. I said, what are all these boxes for? What's going on with these boxes? <laughs> y'all about to have a yard sale? Y'all in and out? <laughs> Offer up? Facebook Marketplace? Like, what's going on here? So, Dollar tried to kind of just finesse it a little bit. But Ralph Angel was like, nah. You got to tell him the truth. This is the time I need to tell him. So, he mm -hmm. took him out on the farm. And they walked the farm. And he pretty much took him down memory lane. Because y'all remember when we first saw Ralph Angel, he was doing... What he just did. Right. Then. <laughs> yep. So he told, you know, Blue, like, basically, life comes with consequences. Right. I've done some things. I've gotten away with some things. I was desperate. I was desperate. And out of desperation, I did some things for money. 
And because of that, we may have to leave the farm for a while. Right. I said, first and of I, all, tell that baby that you may have to leave the farm for forever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't give him no false hope. I like hope. the faith, though. I like the faith, but it's also false hope. Yeah. yeah. I like to, for you to give it all to him. And then if we have to scale back, or be, it or, bad. or be like, at this point, we have lost the farm, but we are trying we are to work in to get it back. I yeah. mean, Blue is smart. <laughs> he can handle that. Right. <laughs> so now it's time to get in the vehicle and go on over there to the baby shower. But before that, we're over at Nova's house. You know we called Dominique um, Jabari, Jabari the entire time last week. <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, he looks like a Jabari. Yeah. <laughs> But Dominique comes over. He brings her some matcha and all this good stuff. What did he say? Matcha muffin and man. And a man. I said, all right, with the three M's. But he comes over with news that, A, hey, my folks, they'll gather some information about these bones. And not only did they gather information, they're from, what he said, the late 1800s. 1800s. Yeah. And they're not from one person. They're from, from multiple, multiple people. people. Yeah. So now they're exploring, like, where could these bones have come from? Like the the first thing was, let's go ahead and get that off for of Ernest. We did that. That's eighteen hundreds. Yeah. <laughs> but who is who? When? How? Where? Like what? We need we need to figure this thing out. So long story short, she told him like, listen, I'm gonna have to cut this little meeting short. I have to go to the baby shower. He was like, listen, I don't care what you gotta do. <laughs> bring me a piece of unvised pies. I don't yeah, care, I don't which care one. what slice. Any bring slice. Me any slice. <laughs> she was like, well, why don't you go and get that pie yourself? Come on, let's go. Now, I was thinking the same thing, but I thought maybe she wasn't ready to bring him around the family yet. That too. That too, because that is, that's kind of a weird moment to bring somebody around is at a baby shower. Mm -hmm. You need a cookout. Yeah. A cookout will make or break it. <laughs> or maybe a Sunday dinner. You know, everybody just gave yeah. from church. So they feel the law, so they ain't gonna be too hard on you. <laughs> nah, don't bring them on Sunday. They bring them to the cookout. We need them to be. We need. No, nah, you actually bring them on Sunday because they just came from church. They ain't gonna be hard on them enough. Not after Sunday service. That's what I'm saying. That's why you need to come on Sunday. Now nah, we need all the pressure. We need all the pressure because we need to see if we gonna have you around for Thanksgiving. Yeah, your your family won't hard on me. They like you. They yeah. like you more than they like me. They were, the, the, the <laughs> men wanted to get me in the woods so bad to go hunting. Yeah. Every time I come right there, you, when you ready to go hunting, when you ready to go hunting. I'll get you in the woods. Uh -huh. See what you made out of. I said, don't you go in the woods with them. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Say, I have been in the woods with them plenty of times. Don't do it. Don't do it. They will have you out there all freaking day, all freaking night. Yeah. Hunt. That, and, that and on the fish boat, they try to do that too. Don't do that either. <laughs> don't do it. Mm -mm. <laughs> don't do it. So, what else that happened? So, uh, we're over there at the baby shower and whatnot. Everybody is so happy to see Blue. Blue is having his moment. The Aunt Vi, Aunt Vi is glowing because she has her baby back. Yes, indeed. And um, so we have um, Blue going around. <laughs> see, Blue running the baby shower, y'all. Y'all saw that, right? He's giving instructions about how these, how this, I guess say Bible pen. How these, yeah. uh, <laughs> how these clothes pen work. And he was like, pretty much, I'll give you old, black, white, blue. Cross your legs, cross your arms. I got it. That's a hard. That's a hard day gonna game. I I done played that game before. Yeah. Cause it's it's normal to go like this and, and close you. your legs. It's normal. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, of course, Nova gets there with her new man. Everybody was like, "What up, homie?" And mm -hmm. I was like, "I thought I knew him, but she, I guess she did." He just knows of oh, her pies. Uh -huh. Yep. So, what else that happened? Michael, he was there taking pictures, doing what Michael does. But Michael kind of skidded off away from the crowd. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ain't nobody noticed that Michael just kind of went on and did his own thing. But his auntie Nova noticed. Yeah. But we'll we'll get to that in a minute. So we have Dalla and Ralph Angel there, and Dalla starts going around the room and telling everyone what they mean and meant to her. And yeah. I thought that was so oh, that was, beautiful. Yeah, and I said, hold that was on. Awesome. Yeah. I feel a little something in my throat. <laughs> but she said, she weighing you down, she baby. Wearing me down. She weighing you right on down. Yeah, she told Mr. Prosper, she was like, you are the glue that keeps me connected to Mr. Ernest with your stories. You're mm -hmm. able to fill in some blanks. 
tell me about him, you know, keeping him alive for me because I didn't get to meet him or whatever. No, that's a lie. Um, and then she went on the, the list about um, Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh. And how he pretty much saved her life. And then she went on with Aunt Vi and how Aunt Vi saved her life. And raised, raised blue, blue. blue when mm -hmm. she and Ralph Angel couldn't. Charlie, she told Charlie that I have looked up to you and you have covered me in ways that I cannot even express right now. Like, Charlie is Dollars. Right. That's her girl. And and that's what I love about Queen Sugar. Like, at that very moment when she did that, it make you reflect about yourself. Am uh -huh. I? Do I really tell the people in my life that I really care about how much I appreciate them? No. We just think they are so... Yeah, no. Yeah, they know. They know, but yeah. Yeah, she gave um, Nova her flowers, too. Yep. About always being there, being that spiritual aspect and whatnot. So, we get to this part where Nova, no, not Nova, Dolla, Charlie, and Aunt Vi yeah. are outside just kind of chatting it up, reminiscing, because everybody don't kind of, they don't eat their little, the, the baby shower meatballs, y'all know. Yeah, you know how Play their little games and whatnot. Have black family get together, everybody eat, and they go in their own circle. And then they scatter. So yeah. those three are in the back, and they're just talking <clears throat> about, you know, her laying in this floor to get relief. And her and Charlie were just like, yeah, no judgment. Yeah, I, get I get it. it. Because when I was pregnant with Micah, it was one chair that it did it for me. I don't care what nobody said. That chair did it for me. You keep doing what works for you. And Dollar made the statement that she was like, y'all, you know, only the mothers get under, it. The mothers I'm understand. And she kind of looked at Aunt Vi and Aunt Vi had that look like. Mm -hmm. I was like, if I don't get it, your feelings. She was like, I didn't mean nothing by it. You know, not. I was like, you ain't mean nothing by it, but Aunt Vi is totally feeling some kind of way mm -hmm. at this moment. That's, that's so easy to do, though. It's so easy to, to do. To because say you, stuff, yeah. Yeah, because you don't know what people's sensitive points are. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um. And even though she knew, but in the moment, she was just talking in sure. that moment. Yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't personal. So then we see a vi goes inside and Blue <laughs> Blue ended up losing one of his clothes pairs to Hollywood. And Hollywood was like, uh-uh, let me go and get that pen because oh. you've been cheating all day or whatever. So they're having like this playful, like almost father and son like banter, like really like cutting up. And she looked at that and you could tell that in her mind, like, she was going to a place. Mm -hmm. And I was like, um, I'm fine. don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. So let's go over there to, um, Nova and Micah. So she catches up to Micah and he's in his room just kind of off to himself. And she was like, nephew, what's up? Talk to yeah. me. What's going on? But I told I told the queen, I said, we haven't seen Micah and um, Nova in this spot in a long... I used to love when she sat down and talked to Micah. Because they do have similar spirits. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very reflective. So, <clears throat> he gets on and he was like, you know, I have a friend and I'm conflicted about the friendship because now I feel like intimacy is now involved. And he said, I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about like I want to tell them everything. I want to tell them everything, how mm -hmm. I feel, this, that, and the third. But other people are starting to notice, and now I'm trying to figure out. Well, am I am yeah. I gay? Yeah. Am I fluid? Like, what's going on? And Nova was like, "Why do you even have to define it? Yeah, like pretty much just let it flow, let it be." explore and like fine. let's not do the labels right now like just let it be and figure out what it is that it's going and to be following your feelings following your feelings i said which that's easier that's, said easier yeah. said and done because on one side of society says don't trust your feelings and then on the other side they say you got to trust your feelings so yeah. you kind of get you know mixed emotions on what feelings should you trust trust your spirit mm -hmm. that's what i say trust that that third eye, trust that gut, and do all that good stuff. So, you know, he really appreciated her talking to him about it. You know, they hugged it out and whatnot. And I was like, yeah, that was the perfect person to talk to about Oh, yeah, oh, like, yeah. Like, even Charlie has given him, like, some motherly advice, but it's nothing like that auntie and uncle mm -hmm. that could just, like, come in there and reestablish what it is that you're feeling or 
give you some guidance within that field. Yeah. So I really appreciated that scene. So we get back out there, right? So now we have the men and who invited that farmer man? <laughs> you did. Why is he there? You did. I don't like him. <laughs> And that's the first thing I said. I said, why is he there? Why is he there? Ralph Andrew got other he, friends. He was on his best behavior this week, though. Benny was there, though. I appreciate I like Benny being there. And even the lady farmer. She all right sometimes. But that, that man farmer, farmer bay, mm-mm. No, I don't like him at all. <laughs> but he was on his best behavior, like you said. Yeah, he was good. He was good this week. So now Ralph Angel is sitting there, and he's pretty much having a conversation about, I thought about something. And I even brought it up to Billy, because even Billy was over there at the baby shower. And I brought it up to Billy so that she could take some stuff back to explore some things um, with her expertise. And he was like, I'm really thinking about the money that we had coming in. And maybe we can form a co-op. Right. Which means that we put all our money, money together, together. Yeah. that we'll get seed, we'll plant, <clears throat> we'll harvest, we'll, we'll dominate this season. And then as we grow... Everybody will start to benefit. get a little gains yeah, from benefit this from, yeah. and whatnot. So then Billy was like, yeah, you know, with the Relief Act that came into play, it also means that any land that's vacant that comes up for sale, the black farmers, farmers. get first dibs on the land. And yep. I was like, so Ralph Angel was like, you know that land that before COVID, it, you know, it went belly up. It's still out there. And, and that's some good land. Benny said, that's some good land that's some right good there. good land, bro. <laughs> he was like, we could get that. We could put all our money together. We could harvest. We could turn this thing around. And we could slowly regain our stuff. I was like, that this, that this by this I, time, Michael's out there. Michael was like, that's, yeah, what, that's I'm what I'm talking, talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I said, that's what I'm talking but about. But that's, that's what we've been saying for years for for black people, if we Get could together. just, if we just could come together and and pull our resources together, we could accomplish so much more in this world. Yes, indeed. Well, they say you know, our, our clothes fist hits harder than an open hand because you put those fingers together. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's talk about um, Avi and Charlie. So now they was like, okay, we we don't talk to enough business at this baby shower. We have Vi and Charlie having a conversation with um, Darla off to herself. And I'm about to say, listen, I don't want to meddle in your business mm -hmm. because I know I've been accused of that and I <laughs> have been doing it and I'm trying to be on my best behavior until now. Until now. But hear me out. Hear me out and hear me out good. I'm not trying to pry. I'm not trying to overstep. But I know y'all need somewhere to live. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you need somewhere to lay your pretty little heads and you got this baby on the way. So at this moment, I might just have to step over the line and offer y'all something. She was like, listen, Blue gonna go back to D.C. We have his room. That room is big and it's beautiful. It's nope. enough space for you, Ralph Angel, and that baby. Y'all won't be in our way at all. We would love to have y'all in the house. Rent free. Rent free. Y'all can save your money. It's like, I What? Said, when can I move in? Right. <laughs> I've been waiting for opportunity like this since I've been grown. Right. So then here come Charlie. Charlie said, you know what? I got another option. Another option on the table. I'm going to be campaigning. I'm not even going to be here. Michael's going to be in the dorms. He ain't even going to be here. Yep. This house is going to be vacant. I said, baby, you need to put somebody in the house. Because the way these landers operate, you see what they did to your queen sugar meal. Uh-huh. <laughs> you need they to get somebody in the off. house. Yeah, they better set the house on fire too. That what I said. Somebody <laughs> need to be in that house. <laughs> she said, "Listen, y'all can be in this house. You'll have the house all to yourself. I won't be here. Have like, at it." Wow. I was like, Charlie, wow. call me. Yeah. <laughs> Let me come. <laughs> Bid me come. And I said, and then you could just see the tears just start to yeah. flow down Dollar's face because it's like. But my mom wow. was like, it's But where Ralph. was Dola's mama? Yeah. What? Yeah. I almost went past that. Yeah. But I thought about when she, when they were offering it, I was thinking about Ralph. I said, it's Ralph going to allow the pride to get in his way. But I was like, you know what? His pride got him to where he at right now. Yep. So maybe he will humble himself. We'll talk about <laughs> it in a minute. So we're back over there at Nova's, right? 
So Nova's now having a conversation with Dominique because they don't found out some more stuff mm -hmm. about this stuff. Well, come to find out that the bones are from the Louisiana massacre where black farmers were pretty much murdered by angry white, white farmers. farmers. So now what they have decided to do is pursue, as somebody said it in our comments a few weeks back, to make the land a historical, historical site. site. Yeah. So therefore, you can't put no roads through it. Can't build on you it. Can't build on you it. You can't sell it. It has to stay where it already is, and yep. in the state that it's already in. And this land was pretty much used as a grave site for the massacre. Mm -hmm. Which means that it's like your dad used to say, it's history. It's history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Dominique was like. It may not be that easy. We're going to have to still dig and find some facts and some facts on top that of facts. That connect it. That connects it mm -hmm. and solidifies that this was where this happened. And then we can start to pursue it being declared a historical site. And that way we can keep that land sacred and then all is not lost. I said, come on uh -huh. here. Now, Dominique. Yeah. All right. But the question, but the question is that if it does get deemed as a historical site, can they still grow crop on it? Pretty sure of it. Yeah, because it real. is a farm. Pretty yeah. sure of it. So over at the dorms, we <clears> see that Micah goes over there, and I didn't realize. Maybe I did that. I, him and I Isaiah's, didn't know it was crossed. Yeah, ready to cross each other. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes over there to Isaiah, and, and they have little um, whiteboard. I'm looking at my whiteboard yeah. right here yeah. <laughs> that I have my notes on from work. And that's how they leave notes and stuff to each other. He doesn't knock on the door, but he puts a bag of food and hang and hung it on the door. And pretty much left a note for Isaiah said, just in case you're hungry. And he signed it M. And I was like, just knock on the door. Yeah. Just knock on the door. You're going to let that man food get cold. Then he's going to be angry because we black and we don't like to heat food up. Right. Like if the food is fresh, why, why, would, you, why would you risk that? That's disrespectful. Hey, they in a bad place right now. You gonna be in a worse place if you get food. <laughs> get cold food. Get cold food. <laughs> You're in a worse place right there. <sighs> so he had this moment where he was kind of like thinking, like, should I go? Should I not? But he didn't. He let the door close and he went on into his dorm. So Dollar and Ralph Angel back over at that half packed up house, and she presents him with the things that uh, Vi and Charlie presented her with. And she was like, they were just so amazing and so kind to us. And our Vi offered us a room in her house. Mm -hmm. And Ralph Angel was like, she did? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't think that she would want us there with, you know, the baby and this, you know, the space and whatnot. And she was like, and Charlie also, you know, offered her entire house. And it would just be us there. Then Dollar. And you know what? That makes a lot of freaking sense. Like, she made a lot of sense. I still would go to visit on Vine, but I would be over there at Charlie's house by yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, She was like, listen, Ralph Angel, I, 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 I didn't raise Blue. So pretty much what she was saying is, do y'all hear our neighbors? Yeah. Loud, That's not loud a gunshot. Loud truck. They had... It's some white boys. Yeah, it's, they got trucks and they got cars. That's and rigged them, up. And they all sound the and same. When they, they pull like off gunshot. and shift gears, oh, pow, 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 pow. Cops, yeah. The cops, from what I understand, don't do anything so nobody calls anymore. But this has yeah. been for like five years. Yeah. And they do this like 11 o'clock at night and you think somebody's shooting at you. But anyway, um, welcome. <laughs> welcome, to the, <laughs> welcome to the suburbs where, <laughs> where people have more money than they have stuff to do with. So... She was like, I would, I could use the extra hands. I could yeah. use the guidance. I could use the wisdom. I don't want to be alone. I need their energy. Like, I need them around this baby. And I was like. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of. Especially, and, especially since the opportunity is not, is, is, is available. Because a lot of people don't get that. But you know what? It, it reminds me of when, like, when I was a baby. <clears throat> like, I lived in the house with my grandmother until I was like six. Oh, and yeah? that's yeah. Did you oh, know you that? Know, you didn't tell me that one. Yeah, so I I still remember like learning to cook and watching my grandma cook, like just being in her presence, absorbing all of that. Right. That's why I act like an old person now. <laughs> like just really like being 
in the presence of all that wisdom and learning those like those old wives tales of you know doing things that other people don't know how to do or figuring out stuff and mixing stuff together that like how do you know that i don't know i just know <laughs> right and it's and it's kind of like crazy with the show another thing like seeing them come full circle how they hated dollar i did too <laughs> you know because of what they put the family through with her drug addiction and then with ralph making all these bad decisions and putting in, yeah and putting them in this situation because of his pride now it circles back around that the family is now pulling together to help them. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, child, they that's, said, that's awesome. They was like, she's been through a lot. Yeah. And they was like, she kicked addiction's butt. Mm -hmm. And she deserves everything she has coming to her. And I was like, she has handled this pregnancy like a champ. Yeah. I said, that girl ain't let it, ain't let it waver her. So, if, if we had any question or not whether Charlie... And on Vi has forgiven. Uh, oh yeah, they did. For giving, uh, what's her name? I dollar. Her, giving dollar. We got our answer. <laughs> Cause she's definitely forgiven. Except for that Kenya stuff with me. Oh. Straight from the VA. <laughs> dirty, dirty south. To up, to that. Holla. Holla.